MN3 Studios presents True Nightmares. Oh boy, we are we're digging into the horror collection in my bunch of indie games. So MN3, oh boy, that is immediately not cool. Uh, hi guys. As usual, I have no idea what I'm gonna get myself into. So um, let's just take a walk. Oh no. I immediately dislike everything. What did I just get? Wait. Who's talking? Stop! Oh, and by the way, apparently this game is inspired by sleep paralysis dreams, so I'm sure this will be pleasant. Well, I can't go anywhere. I grabbed the thing. Wait, this wasn't open before. I can jump, apparently. How do I do things? I grabbed a thing from here. And there don't seem to be any controls or a menu or anything I can check out. So what do I do? Oh no. Oh dear. Hello? Are you a friendly shadow man? Ha! Oh no! This is like anatomy! I didn't like anatomy! Is he saying anything that makes sense or is in any language I know? Kinda sounds like black speak. Okay, can I leave? No, I cannot. Why would I be able to leave? Why did everything go? Oh, hello. I'd rather not talk to you two. Okay. Okay. That is a. Uh, that is several layers of uncool. I guess all we can do is move forward. Oh no! What are you? What is that? No! 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 Oh fuck! The door is closed. Ah! <laughs> Why do I do this? Oh god! That was. <laughs> we're off to a hell of a start. Okay, we're in some kind of cafe, bar. Jesus. Okay, there's a car here. Gas station, diner? Mash MN3 shop, okay. So this is where I go to buy nightmares? Is that how it goes? just blocks can't really is this like just randomized spooks is that what's happening okay trash can't inspect these I'm just kind of walking around man I don't know what Can't go anywhere. I mean, if you're just gonna make me walk around until scary shit happens, at least let me interact with things. To kill time, you know? Oh! Well, I'm in the car. K? 
Can I drive? Oh, I'm driving. I'm driving. Okay. If this is gonna be anything like Dead End Road, I'm going to be very upset. Well, this is a, a pleasant ride. Can we, like, turn on some lights in the car? Blank street signs. On the road again. Feels so good to be on the road again. All my life I'm making music with my friends. And I can't wait to be on the road again. Oh, hello! He seemed cute. Somehow I have a feeling he... Uh, uh, why is there an eye over there? Um. I clicked the eye and now I am no longer... Wait, I wasn't controlling that part. He just kind of put me over here. What? Oh! Was that it? Was that the game? Oh, it's a demo. Okay. Huh. Well then. That's a nice bit of warm up. <laughs> I mean, this is this is random shit, you know, like it, I'm assuming this is all there is to it if it's a demo. Um oops, there goes the the picture. So it's not like there's much of a game, I just walked around and shit happened. I'm guessing it's supposed to be fairly random events and eventually you find out what the hell is going on. But uh, it was... Interesting to say the least. Like, actually it was pretty freaky. Although I feel like... I feel like there's supposed to be more. Did I fuck up? There might not be. No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, well, MN3, um, you might want to put a little more meat on the demo next time, but uh, that was interesting. Let's find another scary game to play. Hold on. Hey, folks, this is The Last Night at Home, which says a great sounding title. And apparently this game was made largely by French folks. Alexander B, Clément C, Giffen B. I, I can't pronounce half of these. I'm sorry, guys. On itch.io... This says it was made by Akamis and Wardcore. So let's see how spoopy this is. Let's see if it can spoop me properly. A good spoop. Let's end it on a good spoop. The stream, I mean. 7 Louis Michel Street, Paris, Paris, France, apartment 23. It was not a nice place to live. The rent was too high, the heater was working as often as not, and the landlord was a jerk. I spent three years of my life here. Before the incident. At the time I lived with Sophie. We had our own habit. She mostly stayed on her computer. While I was taking care of. Oh. I could skip it. While I was taking care of my plants. She was unemployed while I was a student. It was a good life nonetheless. Until. It happened. Ooh. July 7th. 2016. Sophie was taking vacation abroad. Was she? Was she taking vacation? Sorry, sorry, I know, French folk. Oh, here we go. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Woof, you guys need to design some of these instructions. This is not pretty. Block the holes with furnitures. What? Click and hold to select the furniture and then move it. What the? Wh why is there a big ass hole? Can I crouch? I mean... We don't particularly like holes in the walls. Or windows. After a certain other game we played. Let's block this then. Call the police! For what? Emergency line only. Any abuse will be punished. Uh oh. Police secours, bonsoir. Emergency services, hello. I need help. Someone is trying to break into my house. The neighbor's acting weird and hearing strange noises. Can you send someone? 
let's say the neighbors are acting weird. Because if I say someone is trying to break in, I mean, that that might get them here fast, but I could get in real trouble. So, where do you live? 7 Louis Michel Street, apartment 23. I'm sending a patrol, stay safe, and keep your phone close. Okay. Black screen. Oh! Wait for the police. Hi. Oh! Block the holes with furniture. What? What holes? Wait, there's a hole somewhere? Oh, God. Oh, that's a cheerful picture. Wait, whoa! Oh! 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 Turn on the circuit breaker. Where? Where's the circuit breaker? F okay. Nope. This is instantly uncool. What the fuck? I can't click that thing and I... I can move this. Block a hole. Okay, where is the circuit breaker? How would I know where the circuit breaker is? In this house that I live in. Uh-oh. Do I have anything I can move in here? Okay, here we go. Ah! <laughs> what the hell? This is how I died. This is no place I can call home these days. Unless it's the inside of my coffin. What the fuck? Okay. Um. Oh boy. Is it running sluggish for you guys already? Hold on. I think it fucked up. Back to menu. Let's start it back up. Yeah, sure. Okay, so... Just restarting does me no good, so I have to do this in one run. Shit. Cool, great. No, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Alright, so let's focus on blocking some fucking holes. Holy shit. That actually did kind of scare me. <laughs> I don't see any holes yet. Anywhere. Oh, there's one. Oh, are they randomized? They fucking would be, wouldn't they? Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, is this the sec- Okay. Woo! Okay. Good. Good to know. I don't see any more holes yet. There's a hole. Fuck you. Not in the mood. Are there other holes in the walls? None here. What the hell is making these holes in my walls? Oh, god damn it. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Where was it? Where was it? It's here. Cool. I did it! Sorry about it being choppy. It's really weird. I don't know what gets it so choppy. Where? There's a hole. Oh, god. There's two holes here. That is uncool. Okay. Shit. How many holes are there in this house? Huh. Okay. Shit, shit, shit. Oh, wait. Didn't I block that earlier? Or am I? What the hell? Oh, crap. Turn on the. Su I'm working on it, man. No, I blocked that. Block that too. Block the Oh, it's making new holes. Okay. Shit. This is alarmingly uncool. Like, how long- Oh, shit. How long do I have to survive like this? Maybe if I'd said I was being attacked- Oh, shit. The police would come faster. Shit, shit, shit. Ah! <laughs> oh, come on! 
Really? And it gets choppy as fuck if I restart, so... Damn it. Over here. Oh, okay. What? How am I supposed to deal with two holes? Wait, no, that's, that's not right. How the fuck? You can't be serious. How am I supposed to deal with that? Whole stop appearing. Oh, god damn it. Ah! ah! Come on! What the hell? Really? This is way more difficult than it needs to be. Okay, so I just looked up some of the videos that were uploaded on the game page for this. It is possible to survive the night. But you just get another text screen saying, oh, I survived the night. Um, this is a really neat little idea for a horror game. It's tense, it keeps you on your toes, and you can actually get kind of surprised when he suddenly pops up. So, kudos on the idea. It needs better endings and some kind of indication of a timer. Like, the police could say, oh, we'll be there in 10 minutes. Which, I wouldn't want to play this for... Well, I, I played for more than 10 minutes now. I shouldn't say that. So basically, you can win this. But as it stands right now, it's just not really worth it. There's no ending. There's no carrot at the end of the stick. But the stick itself is very fun to play with. Nice work, guys. This is a creepy little concept. I'm sure this was just a test of an idea or something. Uh, yeah, it was made for Global Game Jam 2019. Last night at home. Good work. All right, this one is called Night River. I have no idea what the choice is. Sound volume, music volume, lo blah, load and look sensitivity. Uh, this is made by, let's see, where did I put it? Ian Eborn. And like every other game I play like this, I don't know what I'm getting into. It should be short though, so. I guess set out, see what happens. I'm on a boat. Insert lonely island joke. I can look around. Can I? Oh. Oh, I move with space. I should have double checked the... Oh! Hello? Oh. Could you not... Oh! <laughs> hi! Maybe don't. Uh, hi? Okay, that's supposed to be scary, but I'm sorry. You need voice actors, buddy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right. This is pretty much just like the fear from... Thumbs up to you too, lady! Oh, she's asking for a ride! Uh, sure? Don't make me regret this? Is this the river sticks? Oh, she's not with me anymore. Huh. I think this is supposed to be the river sticks. Can't go there. Can't go there. So I guess we just move on. These are. Oh, it's a chest. And laughing people? Oh, crying. Oh, of course. Photograph. Oh, that is... That's a lot of dead people. Hello. Oh, ah, ha, 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 hi, hi. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to bump into you. Jeez. Take it personally, aren't you? Sorry. 
Holy crap! I'm sailing. Oh. Um, maybe you should try using bullets next time. <laughs> this game needs some sound design, I'm sorry to say. Oh, hey, I made it to the end. The paths may be dark and scary, and the roads you to take long and weary. Yet they may take us by sights unexpected and new, experiences treasured like few, and bring us in the end somewhere brighter than before. Depart? I guess that just ends it. I guess this is more of a little style experiment than a full game then. Uh, I actually like the visuals of it. I like the idea of sailing down the river sticks and just picking up souls. If that is indeed what this is, but there needs to be a game here. Like, some souls should be dangerous, some sh souls should be benevolent. Make me make some decisions and try to scare me. It seems like it was more of a little revisit the conclusion. Ooh. Oh, it's just. <laughs> Dedicated to my friend. Huh. Okay, well, it was interesting. I'll say that much.